Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the Norvina Pro 6 palette against Blend Bunny. As you beautiful people know, this is always about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, cast it away because this is a channel of positivity. Oh my little goji berry gumballs, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself, I'm doing pretty good. I'm up a little bit early. I kind of woke up and my hair was like this and I'm regretting coming on camera with it. It's all right, one day I will go to a salon and get this fixed. But I don't really care about that. I just just happen to get this bad boy on my doorstep and I do want to preface this video preface preface I do want to say that I'm not stirring the pot here I'm not trying to start shit I love indie brands and I especially love blend bunnies products their palettes are to die for and I was just scrolling through Twitter last week and saw comparisons between their surge palette and the new Norvina one I will say blend bunny is known for including literally every color in their palette but also so is Norvina so I don't know that these are necessarily like dupes for each other like you can literally take any palette and dupe it whether or not that dupe was intentional it's just the makeup world recycles things over and over and over but I do know the surge palette came out last year maybe two years ago and this little mama just dropped it does take probably like eight months ish for a brand from start to finish to create a palette like this so there definitely was time to dupe this but I can't say whether or not this is a dupe I actually don't really even remember what this looks like so before I keep talking let's open these up I think the Norvina one was like 60 or 70 dollars I actually really love these palettes. I only have two or three of them just because the layouts to me never made sense unless you have the entire collection. And I am not a professional makeup artist. I have no reason to have every fucking shadow in these. So I kind of just stopped buying them. Plus, honestly, these palettes are a lot more affordable. It's an indie brand. And if I had to choose, I honestly would pick these palettes. Like the quality is kind of superior to almost everyone on the market. And they're really damn affordable. I think both of these together still cost less than this. So yeah. Yeah, I'm really not here to start shit. I just legitimately am curious about the quality of both these. I just want to see what they look like. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is... <gasps> everything that I could want in life. I am a colorful whore and look at that. Oh! Oh God, okay, bye. This has the fabulous big ass mirror. It's in really, really hard plastic. I do think these are geared more towards professionals because they come in a case that you can really bang around. It's not like anyone can't use it. But with these guys, you do just have to work them a little bit different. And because it's a pigment palette, they do just say it's a face and body palette, not technically for the eyes, but that's only for legalities because anything that can stain the eyelids legally can't be called an eyeshadow, even though we put them on our eyes all the damn time with no issues. And then here is the Surge palette from Blend Bunny. Once again, absolutely stunning. I mean, Norvina totally wins on the packaging, but I kind of like this one better because it's more recyclable. It's much smaller and it's much lighter. Like, I travel with this all the time, but this... Oh, she's a beast. Here they are together. I guess they're similar-ish. It's like they have the same idea, but they're kind of different tones. And if I'm gonna be honest, I actually prefer the Surge one, I think. They're just a little bit more neon, whereas these are kind of bright and popping, but they run a little bit pastel -y. They're both really pretty. In fact, I feel as though they'd complement each other marvelously. But also, if I laid these out the same, you might actually think that it's a dupe. Let's see, they both have the white, they both have kind of pinks, they both have a very similar purple. The greens are kind of different. I don't know how they look on camera, but here it's kind of muted. But in this palette, like look at that green. Let me pull up the other one because maybe I was wrong. Maybe people are comparing this to the original. No, this is the original. Oh my God, I feel like I'm looking at a Pantone catalog. Anyways, they do both have pop and pinks, but once again, this is just a lot brighter and more vibrant. Like instantly, I just want to combine these I would use this on my crease and then maybe a little bit of that and then put this on a cut or maybe even this with that I I don't know but visually do they look the exact same kind of but they aren't but again they both are like rainbow palettes and they follow like the Roy G Biv thing and like how many ways can you rework that at least they really aren't the exact same colors they're just similar let's dip our finger inside both these little gals and I think the first colors that I notice that are kind of similar ish is stay in the blend bunny palette and c5 in the Norvina palette so let me feel them oh damn the blend bunny just feels so fabulous but usually so does the Norvina and that does feel nice Wait, shit, which one is which? Wait, no, here's Blend Bunny, and then here is Norvina. They're both lovely, but totally not the same. Very similar, but this one I think has a little bit more red in it, and this one has a bit more blue in it. And then here is Charged from the Blend Bunny palette, as well as C3 from the Norvina palette. Well, shit, where are we gonna put this? I guess there's Charged, there's Norvina. They both are great 
but they're very, very different. I really can't say which I prefer because these formulas are so different. Like this one does have more blue in it. And when you start adding different colors like blue or red, it just changes shit up entirely, especially if we're working with synthetic colors like synthetic red. So yeah, this isn't looking too promising for being a dupe. However, do I think that you actually would need both these palettes? No. I kind of feel like between the two Blend Bunny palettes, you could totally eliminate any Norvina palette. But then again, if you are like a huge color person and you want colors in between the primary colors, then maybe you would like how extensive the Norvina palettes go. Like to me, the Blend Bunny palettes are the essential colors. And then the Norvina palette is just like everything in between. For me, I don't create wild and out there looks enough to need like 10 variations of a lavender. So for me, these palettes work fine. And they both seem to stain the skin too. So I think they must use synthetic red, which is totally okay. And that is why these are called pressed pigments instead of eyeshadows. The next similar colors are Beckon from Blend Bunny and then C1 from Norvina. And when they're in the pan, they look similar, but they really are different. There's Blend Bunny, next to it is Norvina. Again, we just have different undertones. A bit more red and blue going on, but quality wise, they're both fuckable. And here is Blend Bunny's white and Norvina's white. The Norvina formula with all of these does seem to be a little bit softer, a bit more pigmented, but until we put them on our eyes, we really won't know how good they actually are. I think when it comes to this kind of review, we're not really looking at quality. We're just looking at similarities because on my lap, I just have a big pile of good quality shit. Oh my God, my lips are drier than a possum's anus. Oh, I need some lip gloss, yes. I feel like for people with perpetually dry lips, putting on lip gloss is the same as somebody taking their bra off at the end of the day, or somebody with like a baseball bat for a peen finally taking their underwear off at night. <laughs> totally relatable. <laughs> I was gonna do side-by-side -side swatches of these, but I really don't think they're similar enough to even do that. On Twitter, Blend Bunny did post a picture of the side-to-side -side swatches if you do wanna see them. They're similar, but they're not the same. I think they're just really complimentary. I think on one side, I'll use the Norvina and do like a cut crease. And then on the other side, I'll try to do the exact same look with the Blend Bunny palette. So let's just dive into it. I do also want to say that even though I hate the living hell out of glitters, they do have nice shitters in here, which is a shimmery glitter, whereas the blend palette just has some metallic shades. So you do get a little bit more in this, but also is that worth two times the price of this? Maybe it is for you, but for my cheap ass, it's not. We are, however, gonna try some of these today. They just look too yummy. So because these are pressed pigment palettes, a lot of times pressed pigments do have fallout. That's totally okay. So I'm gonna do my face base last, and I'm gonna prime my eyes with Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in a Oh, that's not it. In white, if I have one. Where the fuck is my white base? So I will try my best at creating something fun. Normally when it comes to this, I like to put as many colors on the crease line, then cut that and then go in with as many more colors as I can. So we're gonna try that today. Let's start on this side with the Norvina palette. And I am really digging this yellow. So let's put that on the inner part of the eye right about here. <gasps> Ah, it's like paint. That is what I'm talking about with these being like pigment palettes. They are just something else. We'll leave that sexy bitch right there. I'm gonna clean this brush off all the way and make sure there's no pigment left in it. Let's dive into the Blend Bunny palette. And this to me is like their version of the yellow. So let's dip right into there. That picks up so much just like the Norvina. Place that right there. Oh, fuck. It is absolutely different, but honey, the pigment, oh, so pretty. This would so complement this color. Like, this might be a battle between the two, but I believe in fucking, not fighting, and these would fuck so hard together. Once again, we have all of the pigment taken out of this brush, so let's just keep going in. Next, should we make a nice little transition with an orange? I think we should. Let's go into D2. It's a beautiful orangey sherbet color, and I'm gonna tap that right in with the yellow and drag it about two-thirds of the way out and that blends in with that yellow so nicely. Oh my goodness. And especially going over that really bright white, that just looks so nice. And now on the other side, we'll go in with Power Bottom. Wait, no, it just says Power. My bad, the weekend is approaching and my mind's wandering. And we'll take a nice bit of that and once again, plop it right on the center and work it towards the inner corner and with that yellow and then work it towards the outer bit. See now this color, it doesn't want to lay over that yellow quite as nicely as this one. 
it's kind of going on and then making an entirely new color versus this side rather than making a new color they just kind of feathered in with each other there's absolutely a learning curve with this palette whereas the Norvina one you can kind of just go in and bang shit out with it but then at the same time it's like they both have their own amazing qualities so yeah here we are so far I don't think either look is terrible but this one you can definitely see where I put that yellow the first time and the orange just will not stick down to anywhere that already had pigment on it. All right, so let's move on to the next color. I was gonna go in with the green, but the blend palette is a little bit cooler. And I think that's gonna steer me in a totally different direction. So let's go in with our clean ass brush into the purples that are similar, starting with the Norvina C5. Oh, these Norvina palettes always make me wanna be a bingo number caller. What if they let me volunteer? Do you think I'd be a little bit too naughty for them? Maybe I should do drag queen bingo. That's probably more my style. Okay, so with this, I'm once again gonna take it about halfway into that orange. And then we will start to tap this towards the outer corner. I'm gonna try my best to maybe get one more color, but now that I'm looking at these palettes, I don't think there's another super similar color. So I guess this little guy is gonna be our wing, so I'm gonna take this and kind of wing it out there. We all love a good wing on our face. A joke that I say in every fucking video that I will never stop saying. And once again, these do blend into each other very, very nicely. I can kind of see where I put that orange down. This purple doesn't exactly want to go over it, but at the same time, if you really stipple it into place it's like it presses into your skin and it just works and I think actually right in between there to kind of transition that a little better I'm gonna take some C1 and there is a similar ish color in the blend palette we even swatched it so I'll just tap that right in between that orange and the purple with the blend bunene palette let's go into stay blend bunene I think we have a new name for it and I can't really put this in the same spot because the orange on this side didn't really start laying down until about here like you can kind of see it there but it's mostly yellow but I do kind of want this look to be similar so I'm just gonna start tapping it right here and hmm I think the blend bunny palettes are perfect for super intricate looks in fact if you go on their Instagram the queen bunny herself who is a magician with makeup uses little tiny brushes which they actually have I bought them I probably should have been using them these two palettes have totally different personalities application wise and it's a little bit hard to switch back and forth this guy you absolutely have to use a brush even smaller than this whereas the Norvina palette you have a little bit more room to be sloppy which I am very very sloppy with eyeshadows and then we'll take a little bit of this lavender and smoke that out in that purple. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this is more of like an artistry palette where the Norvina palette, they are artistry palettes, but they're more, I think, mainstream. Like anybody can use the Norvina palettes. But with the Surge ones, if you want to create super dramatic looks like this, you just have to be a little bit more precise. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just depends on what you're looking for with makeup. I really like super user-friendly looks that anybody could recreate. So when I use this palette, I typically just go in with like one or two of the colors. So yeah, I don't know like so far I definitely like the way this side looks and for my style I like the way the Norvina performs too but then when it comes to price and how the quality actually is I do like the blend bunny palettes like if it's gonna save me over half the price I'm totally fine using a smaller brush to get the same look I'm not gonna say one is better than the other I think the tones are just so different that the actual formulas are different and so you get different results anyways I'm gonna go back in with the Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas in white and cut a little crease on both sides oh shit my cut crease transferred and is like getting bigger so hold on we gotta do damage control I never let shit dry long enough well look at that I actually grabbed one of the blend bunny brushes right here and this is what I'm talking about. This is one of their bigger brushes. Like this brand is very, very detailed oriented, which I am not. And that's kind of why I think I fucked this eye up. And I have probably two or 300 brushes sitting in front of me. I just can't find their smaller one, but I think let's do the rest of the look with this. Honestly, even if this look turns out shitty, which I'm so sorry if it does, I will try my hardest to create something fuckable. I just want to see how the pigments lay down and spread out. So let's go in with this pink into C3. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And with this, I'm just gonna take it right on the inner part of the eye kind of as a little bit of an eyeliner or at least I'll attempt to Ooh, that lays down really well at least what I can see you kind of have to be up close to really appreciate it you're probably like how the fuck can you tell it's pretty it's microscopic but it's not about the size of the boat it's about how you use it now on the other side I'm gonna take the blend bunny in charge oh that's really pretty too again this is such a vibrant color it's just so different 
from the Norvina one. Like, this is an absolute neon shade. And neons just have kind of a life of their own, especially when they're pressed neons. And once again, I feel like this side requires a really, really tiny brush, even smaller than this. I don't know what the difference is other than the color, but it's just a completely different formula. Nothing about these palettes act or perform the same. I kind of want to dip back into this Norvina yellow and maybe smoke the pink out with that. Or at least try to. Let's just tap her right there. And I'm going to put it over the pink to see what it does. And... Oh, that layers up so well. Then we can go on the other side with Shocked again. Plop that bad boy right there, and oh, that's really pretty too. Oh, I love that color combination. It's giving me like 80s or 90s realness, but once again, it really does not want to sit where I already put that pink down. Like a little bit of color is sticking, but it's certainly not the clean transition that this side has. But I also think that if I had a brush half this size, I could be super detailed. So I don't know how many damn times I can say it, but if you're gonna use the Blend Bunny palette, just be precise. But if you're not a precise person, then definitely go with the Norvina palette. But also, if you just want a little bit of color in your life, go with the Blend palette. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're a colorful whore and either of these interests you, like, get them. They're both fabulous so far. But I do really think that together, they would be outstanding. We're kind of running out of similarities here, so let's just finish up the wing with this orange. We'll go into D2, that sherbet shade. Oh my gosh, I always come on here and I'm hungry and all I can talk about is food. I always call you guys something edible. Really need to have like some mixed nuts or something on my table. But with that orange, I'm gonna blend it in with that yellow and create a little bit of a wing connecting it to that purple. Maybe take a little bit more yellow too because I kind of cover that shit up. There we go. I really like the way that looks. That was super easy. It's very vibrant. Everything kind of blends in with each other. It doesn't muddy up. I really like this. So now let's do the same to the other side, but I was able to find a little bit smaller of a brush and let's dip it into power. Very Right about there. Oh my goodness. See, this brush is kind of making all the difference in the world. It's almost like with this palette, you kind of have to use them as markers. And draw what you want on and go from there versus the typical like blending it out. That's what I'm saying. This is absolutely an artistry palette made for detail oriented people. Take a little bit more yellow on the center. Shit, what the fuck am I gonna do for the lower lash? I almost don't even want to do the lower lash because I can absolutely give you my final version verdict with this, but I also didn't even use the glitters. <gasps> I'm sorry, I just swatched A2. Oh, that is unbearable bearably, hideously beautiful. That has no damn right looking that stunning. It goes from green to red to blue to just all sorts of bullshit. Okay, yeah, we absolutely have to put that on the inner part. And I like these because they're self-adhesive too. So on the Norvina side, let's just plop her right there. Maybe we can actually put it on the entire cut crease. Or at least still try. This is a very, very jelly-like formula. Oh no! I was trying to scoop it up for you in like $20 worth of glitter fell on my dick. This is very, very messy. Maybe I'm applying this incorrectly. It probably should go over a glue. However, it is also very gloopy and clumpy. And it's also kind of removing my eyeshadow primer as I'm sticking it down. Whatever it is, it's just fucking everything up. It looks gritty and grainy and that is not cute. It looked better swatched. Here, let me show you the texture of this. Like it is, oh God, so crumbly. It's literally like a paste, like my Podge, or if you've ever dunked your finger in a can of tuna. But shit, isn't that so pretty just to look at? It is everywhere now, all over me. I feel like Kesha with glitter on her tits. I'm never gonna get this off of me. It is on my clothes, it's on my chair, it's on my socks, it's on the floor. I probably misused that entirely. You totally have to have something sticky for it, but then that texture is really confusing. Like, why can't they just make a pressed glitter? This palette doesn't even have a glitter in it, but it does have that white pigment in it, so I'm gonna take that and just press it in here, and that'll just replace our glitter, I guess. Oh, that's sick. I feel like we can't fully appreciate how nasty that looks unless we're up close. But here are both our looks. I mean, they are looks. I'm not terribly proud of either of them, but I did kind of warn you that we might not create something beautiful, but I was able to test these, like, to the fucking max. In my humble gay opinion, I think that the Norvina palette really, really is stinking gorgeous. It's very user-friendly. 
It's very vibrant. It's really kind of hard to fuck a look up with it if you know color theory. Like, obviously, if you're mixing, like, the green with the purple and the red and all that shit, it's gonna look muddy. With the Blend Bunny palette, in my opinion, it's not quite as vibrant, not quite as user-friendly, but it's also kind of a completely different breed of makeup. These act a lot more like pressed pigments than the Norvina pressed pigments, and with these, you just have to be ever so careful. I am not careful, so that's why this looks like this. However, I have created outstanding looks with this palette. You just have to take your time with it a little bit more, but I will say I don't feel as though this palette is quite as easy to use as the original. I'm not sure if the formula is different or it is just the colors. I think this palette is more grungy, more neon, and those are really difficult to formulate, whereas these, they're just normal. And as far as ease of use goes and how they look on the eye, I think this is much closer to the Norvina palette than the second Surge palette. You know, now that I'm really looking at it, this palette's a lot more similar than this one to the Norvina. Like here is Spellbound from the Blends palette and here's E4 from the Norvina one. There's Norvina, there is the Blends. The coloring is actually very similar. Shit, maybe I used the wrong one. Now I kind of want to re-go over this eye. I'm gonna take the other Blend palette's yellow right there, blend that out with a little bit of barley. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, um, huh. So the OG Blend Bunny palette does indeed act a bit differently. And now that I'm remembering my first review, I think I said that. I believe I preferred the OG one to the Surge palette. Not that there was anything wrong with the Surge palette, but it just does play a little bit differently, much more like the actual Norvina one. We'll take a little bit of Bewitched, which this is laying down so so nice. Well, fuck me, it only took till the end of the video to realize I was doing the wrong one. But in my defense online, they did say it was comparable to the Surge palette. Okay, here are my final thoughts. I think the colors are similar-ish, but it's more so in the original Blend Bunny palette where the similarities are most prevalent. I don't think either one of these are really superior to the other. I do think they're different. I don't think the colors are the exact same, but I think they're similar enough to where you could get away with only having one. I think this is just as equally user-friendly as this. I don't think the formulas are the same. I think Norvina's are just a little bit smoother, but that doesn't really affect the performance. It just makes the swatches look better. And I'm not really here to recommend anything. I just wanted to compare them. But if I were to recommend anything, I say get them both, especially the blend one. Like if you can't afford something like this, which is totally understandable, this is a lot of money, then I would highly suggest at least getting this palette, but totally combining it with the Surge palette because the two together, I don't know why anyone would need any other other shadows. But the Norvina palettes, they are really good too. So I guess it's up to you if you want indie or not indie. Oh, but that glitter can just fuck the hell right off. It is nasty. It looks like cottage cheese on my eyelid. But like pretty much everything with makeup, it's all about the technique. It's all about the tools that you use. And I just think one palette you can be sloppy with, one palette you just have to be precise with, at least when doing a look like this. But yeah, I just don't want it to sound like I'm sucking anybody's dick here. Like we require 100% honesty on this channel. I personally am not really convinced that anybody copied anybody here. I think it's kind of a kawinky dink. However, looking at the OG one and this, they really do have a lot of similarities. But then again, if you're working with color, you can only rework the shit so many different ways. That fucking glitter. It's crumbling all over. Look, there's some in my little lavender down there. It's like glittery eye bogeys. Okay, well, I'm sorry for not doing a full look, but I honestly didn't need to. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you think they are eerily similar? Would you rather support indie? Would you rather go with a bigger brand with a hard case? Does it not matter to you? Maybe you're a neutral kind of person and all of this just scares you. Don't be scared of the rainbow, honey. It'll welcome you in. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Sorry for yet another clusterfuck of a video. It's just just how we do. But from the bottom of my very thick socks to the top of my very high quaff, thank you for being here. I truly love having you. And you know what? If you're ever thinking, damn, I could use a little bit more Nady in my life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon only content. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white will be available again soon at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!